everyone. everyone. Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. Hope you all are well. This week at Yoseka, I'm happy to report that our team is back after many of us were down last week. It went around. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> we do this on Monday now, um, and we were actually in the middle of this, talking about this last week. Uh huh. But it actually continued. Like more people were sick it out. I actually don't yeah. know if we talked about this last. Oh, week. we didn't. We didn't. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Um, it's been on my mind. Yeah. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, I think chaos. Yeah. So <laughs> you have no idea what we're talking about here. Yeah. Okay. But the whole team was like out last week. Yeah, that's funny. So, like everybody took their turns getting sick last week. Yeah. I don't know what happened. It was a right. very unlucky week here. I it guess. was. Amy had just Here's, left. Right. I guess she was our good luck charm yeah. because after she left, the whole team took turns getting sick yeah. with completely different illnesses. Yeah. It was it was like funny now, now that we're talking about it and looking back on it, it was kind of funny because everybody was just getting like the most random illnesses that yeah. are uncommon. Yeah. Um, I got sick too. You got food poisoning. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was a weird week last week. I don't know. Yeah. Was it, was it weird for any of you guys? <laughs> was it like a global phenomenon or something? We've been watching Three Body Problem. Yeah. That's and the TV show of Yoseka. Yeah. Weird things are happening at the same time. Who yeah. knows what? Do you remember when um, we were watching Westworld? Yeah, but and there were a lot of flies. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of flies that year. Wait, like that. That oh, season. and then the fly. There was like something have to do with the fly in right, Westworld, right? right, and, then, right. and then we actually experienced that, right? And we were getting super paranoid about the flies. Right. I don't know if it's just happening in New York. Maybe not. Like, anyway, our team is back this week, which I'm really happy about. <laughs> it's great to have everyone back. We also have a couple of new faces oh, yeah. around. Yeah. We did a little hiring post yeah. um, a couple of weeks back after finding out that Amy was going to be leaving us. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were trying to fill Amy's very big shoes. She wore right. some big, big shoes here yeah. at Yoseka. She did a lot. So um, we have added a couple of new team members right. since then, and you'll be seeing them in the store if you visit, yeah. um, and intros to come soon as well. So look out for that. So um, very happy to welcome some new team members in and around the store and here um, in our storage space as well. Other than that, we have some newly added stationery. Yeah, not as much. Not as much because we were having a down <laughs> week here yeah. at Yoseko last yeah. week, but we're gonna be back. We're gonna be yeah, back gonna next be week for yeah. sure. There are some exciting new things. Let's start with some new washi tapes from BGM. Okay. So every year, for those of you who don't know, no, BGM creates like seasonal washi tape and every year they do um, for the different seasons um, but the summer limited one I feel like in particular always sticks out in my mind because oh, nice. because when it comes out it's always yeah. very like refreshing because mm -hmm. like right now right people are craving like warm weather and things like that so like to see all these very summer motifs it's just like oh I want summer so bad. I want warm weather. I want warm weather. Yeah, it's like it's starting to get a little warm. Mm -hmm. and then you swim back to cold. Yeah. Warm, and then it's like rainy. So much rain. We've been getting so much rain. Um. So yeah, yeah. these all of these summer motifs. I'm just like, oh, I want the summer to come yeah, right I now. Feel, yeah. So there's like four clear tapes. These are PET tapes with like different summer motifs, like a little summer barbecue there's like skewers and then i love this one the koi little goldfish um pool party one and then just kind of like summer flowers light summer spring colors and then um i love these kind of like nature inspired ones like there are these um, momos like these peaches sunflowers um like some underwater animals some kind of like in the city with like watermelon and a little beverage. And these with the the foil on top means they are actually 
Right, they actually have foil details yeah, on them. Foil details. Oh, and then look at this one. Like th these yeah. are like very summery um, refreshment kinds of things, like okay. the uh, shaved ice in Japan. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, and then this one is a favorite here at Yoseka. We showed these earlier this week as well. These are called. This one's called like Cats by the Sea or something. So cute. And it just has these little cats during like the sunset time, um, walking like along the water. It's very, very cute. Yeah. So cute. So, BGM new summer limited washi. We get a lot of questions from people like, oh, are you gonna get this BGM washi tape back? Um, and the quest the answer is that a lot of the BGM washi tapes are limited, like this one, yeah. and they do a lot of releases. So um, oftentimes we don't always get the old ones back in stock yeah. because with BGM, with a company like BGM, they're creating so many new designs all the time that um, they're not we can't always find the old designs to order again. Would you say that's right? I can confirm, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't know you were asking me for confirmation. I'm asking you for confirmation. You're right, you're right, you're right. People that's... know that you do the ordering, that's what's going on. There was a con I was going through the YouTube comments yeah. earlier, yeah. and one of the comments, it was on um, May and Alex did a sticker collection video yeah. this week, right. and one of the comments was like, um, something like, love this video, it's so fun, and then Neil, Calling out to you. Oh my god, okay. Neil, we need some Korean stickers, please, in at Yosaka, like a direct request to Neil. So I feel like people know that you do a lot of the ordering. Oh yeah. Um, so that's why I needed your confirmation. Okay. Great. Hey. Okay. I, I can confirm that that's what they do. Uh, when they release this, if I can go into a little more detail. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. They might print like a thousand each. Yeah. For example, these are just numbers. Right, for example. Right, right. They, they might print a thousand each. Yeah. Right? So for that series. So it comes with like a set of eight, let's say, for example. Designs. Um, Designs. The sticker companies also do that with their stickers as well. And often what happens is one style gets very popular, mm. right? But they print it at once, long time ago. Right, right. Right. So it's like a limited print. Right. Right. So some styles run out. Right. So when they decide to reprint, now the question is... Do they make all of them? Yeah, do I right. print all Like this of them? Cats by the Sea, like yeah. this one's probably going to be really popular. Or do I print just one of them? Right. Right. More often, what you see is one style gets like uh, completely out. Mm -hmm. um, and one company do frequent releases, mm -hmm. what they then decide to do is they just retire the old styles. Right, yeah, right, right. And focusing on coming out with a brand new series. Mm -hmm. right. That's a good explanation. Thank you, Neil. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you. That's why you're here. Thank you. Okay. Um, next up, uh, we also have some cute little stamp sets. Um, these are a collab between Marks and Mizutama. Wow. Check them out. So you get this one, you get uh, five, wait, this one, this one you get six set stamps, wooden stamps in yeah. this set and it's very like stationary, letter writing themed, wooden stamps with rubber stamp on the bottom and then you get a lot more because you get one, two, with this, this stamp set you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> yes. Wait, were you able to count that right away? No, no, I wasn't oh, okay. able to. Okay, <laughs> because I, you laughed I did not, at me. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know you were gonna start counting all of them. I thought people would be curious. Okay, okay. so there's 13 stamps included in this one. There's like frame stamp, and then this is like, these are very Mizutama illustrations down yeah. here. Mizu, Mizutama is an illustrator in Japan who has become very popular in recent years for these very like round figure-like drawings, yeah. and she'll do them live on her Instagram, and it's so satisfying to watch like she does these drawings on coasters um, and we're just seeing her illustrations pop up and she's doing a lot of collaborations with lots of different yeah, stationery everywhere. companies yeah. in Japan so love Mizutama so cute um, 
Do you remember those like Deco Rush tapes we got from oh, Mizutama a long time great. ago? Those yeah. are so cute. Other than that, then we have some pretty interesting new notebooks yeah. by uh, King Jim. This is like Emily collection. Emily? Emily. I don't know why Emily. Yeah, Emily. I don't know. Oh, Emily. So the whole concept behind this, it starts with this notebook. The whole yeah. concept is it's a horizontal notebook. It's called horizontal notebook. And these are the different designs that they come in, but the insides are all the same. I love this like yeah. sage green. You can see the image here is that you're supposed to use this horizontal notebook in the space in front of your laptop. So you can see. And this is a notebook that, check out this this um, sample that Often created. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't know there was oh, a Oh yeah, just wow. you wait. Okay, I'm just excited. Just you wait. Boom! Whoa! <laughs> it's so good! So the notebook basically comes, wait, it's happened? grid, okay? okay? But there's like very light dots yeah. along the page. Yeah. So you can basically connect these lines down right. the page vertically and horizontally if you want. And then there's like a little title section yeah. here. So in often spread, he basically just connected the dots which allows you to divide each page into four sections. Yeah. And then horizontally, right in front of your laptop would be like here. Yeah. Um, you know, you can have, you can create like a weekly layout if you want, that's one of the options. So like Monday to Sunday or Sunday to Monday, whatever. And then like the weekly goals. Yeah. Um, let's see what Often is organizing. Yeah. Um, there's reach out to photographer, confirm the date. <laughs> Catering options. Oh my god, is he planning stationery fest <laughs> for us? <laughs> Confirm venue. Confirm venue. <laughs> okay. Bagel, coffee, sandwich, Japanese catering. Type, uh, that sounds tea. so good. I want to go to this event often. <laughs> Wait. Double check the venue. Oh, well, double check. I like we that. should be doing that. <laughs> Guest list. <laughs> oh, confirm time. Guess list RSVP final. These are this is very cohesive. Wow. It was not just like a random <laughs> list of bullet points. He's like really planning an event here. Uh, oh, this is this is June. 18th. June eighteen. Oh. I wonder if that's actually a Wednesday. Knowing often it might be. It might be. <laughs> I will say this is a very productive week. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god, maybe he this is maybe this Oh there's is more. His, yeah, no. And then there's more because you don't have to use it on like just the weekly scale. Uh -huh. So there's more more of his event planning going on okay. here. Um, and this is the other part of it. Yeah. So um, these Emily horizontal notebooks can also be used with these uh, sticky memos. And they stay. And they come with a packet like yeah. this that you can use to fold out into a little stand so it stands up on your desk. I'll show you. Yeah. Um, so you, it comes like this for portability, I guess, if you want to bring it around. But then to stand it up on your desk, all you have to do is unfold it and fold it out the other way. Hook that in there, and then it stands up on your desk just like that. So you've got yeah. like a whole little workstation in front of your laptop. You yeah. know, you can see. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very cute, and they're made in these very like subtle aesthetic colors, so that you can use them in your workplace, and yeah. it's not too distracting. Very cute. Yeah. Cool. So. I love. I feel like the horizontal notebook is like a new concept that yeah, like, been very popular. Mm -hmm. um, many brands have them now. Yeah. yeah. Who who was it recent? Oh, the planner. Do you remember the that vertical planner? That horizontal oh, yeah, planner yeah. Um, by um, Laconic. Laconic. Yeah. That was epic. Connie and Stalogy also has this version as well. As mm, well. Like the B six yeah. like slim right yeah. or yeah yeah. Um, yeah it's very cool. And I don't know, let us know. Let us know if like you've tried using something like this, right. if it works well for you. Um, personally, I feel like I move around too much. <laughs> I'd have to be like, set this up every time I go somewhere. But yeah. this is also, it's not too much of a setup, so it's okay. Yeah. I don't know, let us know. Let us know what you think of this. Like, is this something you would use? Is this something that you 
feel like is great um, for, for how you work. And then last but not least, in the newly added stationary world, we have some exciting new pens. Not one, not two, but three wow. new pens from Bunga Box. Do you know what this is? <laughs> you may already know what this is, but one of them is this one. This is the uh, Bungu Box Mikabi. Okay, it is. Mikabi. Yeah, and um, it comes in this box because the pen is inspired by the Mikan Orange, mm -hmm. which is what we see on the finial there, and it's a Pro Gear Mini. Um, so it has the threading on the back here, yeah. actually. You th thread it, you, you screw it to post it, and then um, it's a mini, but it's actually the, the thicker pen, yeah. the pro gear size. So that's quite rare. This took the stationary world by storm, I would say. Like people like lost their minds over this pen when it was first released. Um, I think in 2022 is That's when it was first cute. released. Yeah. It's very cute. It's so yeah. cute. And then um, luckily, Bunga Box has remade it, released it, and we were able to get some, but I think that they also sold out very quickly. So, um, hopefully we can get this back, but this yeah. is a very popular yes. pen. Yeah. Um, it's so cute. Then next from Bunga Box, this is their new Norwegian wood Rialo. This is actually yeah. also a re-release yeah. um, that they, uh, many years ago, they did like a 50, 50 of these production. Oh, wow. So they re-released them, just uh -huh. 50. And this is a Sailor Rialo, so it's a piston filling fountain pen yeah. with, interestingly, um, well, it has black ion trim, yeah. has this little mousse engraved or like laser engraved yeah. on the nib here. Here. And interestingly, it comes with an 18 karat nib. I haven't actually tried a 18 karat nib, um, but we know that Sailor makes them for like the Tasha pens, for example. Um, but I haven't seen it before on like a Sailor pen. Yeah. Um, I wonder if it's going to be for Sailor pens or just for like Sailor pens that they make with other companies. Mm. I don't know, because this is know. a Bungu Box pen. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah um, maybe we'll see more of them, who knows. So that's the Norwegian wood. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, there is the Bungu Box, the Little Witch. So cute. So yeah. cute. This is like a deep eggplant purple pen, yeah. matte colored. Um, with purple uh, embossing here, Koeko AL Sports, and it says Bunga Box The Little Witch, and then it's just your standard Koeko AL Sport, but just in like this very special colorway with a black Koveco nib as yeah. well. So those are some three new exciting pens from Bunga Box. Yeah. Um, let us know in the comments what your favorite is of all the newly added stationery. Yeah. We were down last week, but we're back this week, yeah. so we're all good. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have wonderful weeks ahead of you. And it's April, so happy April. Happy almost springtime. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll see you very soon in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.